Welcome back to Let's Clean Power Wash Simulator. I'm Burning Dog Face, and last time I got this attack wing clean along with a LAS cannon attached to it and the mount on the side of the plane that it's attached to. I'm feeling really good about that. Uh, this time, I'm going to start off by giving a shout-out to Elthwar, who says, I feel like the fact that Engine Seer Tyros hasn't been contacting Brother Powerwash about the current assignment means either he got a very good assignment this time, was given some severe punishment for overt emo emotions, or for some reason he didn't want this assignment. Maybe he's just not into aircraft. I can't say I miss his vaguely threatening messages, as opposed to the explicitly threatening messages from the Commissar. And, uh, shout out to Justin Jones, who says, uh, there it is. I never heard of the Lone Gunman. Might have to look into that series at some point. But now I think I know where the truther movement gets their nonsense from. Upon reflection, that makes them even more pathetic. Uh, like a lot of us that were alive during 9-11, I remember exactly where I was when it happened. The financial aid office at a community college I was attending at the time. I was in high school, I'd just finished my first class of the day, I was at my locker, and I was in the, uh, the special ed program because of the autism and ADHD, and they had a teacher assigned to me, basically whose job was to sit next to me and make sure I didn't just start doodling and ignoring the teacher, you know, to keep me on track. And the, uh, the assistant teacher comes up to me in between class and says, you know, oh, it's horrible, uh, and then she said, Muslim terrorists have flown a plane into the World Trade Center. And I don't even know if they had, uh... announced that or not, like the identity of the people who did it yet, but... Hmm. I just remember that detail. I also remember that when she actually said it, I... I couldn't imagine what had actually happened. I pictured someone crashing a plane into the plaza between the towers and thinking, well, that was not very smart of them. <laughs> Before they were reunited with Sanguinius, the Blood Angels were a very different legion. In some instances, being reunited with the Primarch damaged a legion, e.g. the World Eaters, Death Guard, and a few others. But in the instance of the Ninth, it was the best thing that could have happened to them. This also holds true with the First, uh, Thirteenth, and a few others. I'm trying to remember which one is the World Eaters. I know the Death Guard ended up going with, uh, was that Nurgle? Is that one of the Slanesh ones? Uh, do remember hearing about Angron, who uh, had a device called the Butcher's Nails installed in the brains of all of his uh, space marines. That was definitely not great for them. Basically turns them into raging berserkers 100% of the time. Mind you, the man's name was literally Angron. <laughs> Sorry, I wanted to look up a quote from the text-to-speech series where uh, the Emperor gives a surprisingly succinct uh, summary of just what the damage was with all of his sons. And this is what he said about Angron. Uh, who was, in fact, uh, the uh, Primarch of the World Eaters. But yes, uh, the Emperor said, Angron was constantly mad. Like, extremely, earth-shatteringly, unreasonably fuck-ass mad. Probably because he had those fucking nails in his brain. <laughs> During the podcast session in The Last Church, Rogel Dorn revealed that, surprisingly, Angron highly enjoyed watching sitcoms. <laughs> Off. 
I had a sudden realization yesterday when I was reading about some event from just before the Horus Heresy. Where, uh... It was talking about Horus's, uh, uh, legion. No, I had been familiar with them as the Sons of Horus. But apparently before Horus was found and reunited with them, they actually had a different name. The thing that confuses me is that that name was Luna Wolves. Which means that... Right from the beginning, two of the first Space Marine Legions were named after wolves? I don't know, that confuses me. Oh, but no, it's totally different if the wolves are from the moon than if the wolves are from space. <laughs> Actually, I wonder if that's the reason why uh, they changed the name. Other than the fact that they thought Horus was the greatest thing since sliced bread, of course. doing up there? I do not need my scaffolding to be like 50 feet off the ground. I mean, it wouldn't have let me place it, but I'm just saying. I don't know if that'll be enough. We'll see. Can I get this closer? No, probably not with all this junk on the ground. degree one does have a tendency to leave stuff behind. Sanguinius. As I clear off another one of those uh, emblems, that's the word, thank you, game. I just realized, oh, I can just point at it and find out. <gasps> it's a blood drop! I thought this one was going to be, uh, a baked potato. Uh, no, no, this. I heard about Sanguinius. Is that the poor bastard got himself killed during the uh, Horus Heresy? But not only was the uh, were the Blood Angels not only did they get their asses kicked. There we go. Fuselage chapter emblem cleaned. Uh, not only did they get their asses kicked, they lost or was destroyed all of their gene seed, the stuff they actually use to turn someone into a space marine. You know, it's derived from uh, your Primarch's DNA. So in order to create more, they had to extract it from Sanguinius's dead body. And this created a problem brand new issue for them to deal with they never had before where uh, every once in a while a blood angel will just completely lose his shit and start hallucinating that he is in fact Sanguinius in the final duel with Horus and he will perceive anyone nearby, as I understand it, as Horus, starting with the enemy, but maybe degrading were from there. <laughs> I 
Actually, I take back what I said earlier. I've just suddenly realized that there was also both the Dark Angels and the Blood Angels. Although, you know, you do risk getting silly if you do that. I'm reminded that for a while there, the, uh... The CFL, the Canadian Football League, had two teams called the Rough Riders. One of them spelled it with a space, one of them spelled it as one word. And eventually, ultimately, they decided, no, this is stupid, and one of them changed their name. Let's get this back part over here. Am I on the ground? No. It's just further down than I thought it was. What is this? Salt. I wonder what the difference between salt and salt deposits is. mashing the rotate uh, head button as I was holding it on the wall there, Justin. I've created a strange shape that started out as a circle with the upper right and lower left quadrants uh, filled in, but it sort of evolved into bow tie pasta? For a moment there, I was really, really shocked, and then I realized this is just rear armor, as opposed to uh, fuselage armor over there, which I now see is almost done. I'm confused. Where? Oh, it's doing it again. There it is. Oh, there's four fuselage armors. Okay. I guess I'll just have to figure out where they are. Parkour. Um. Oh, and flight deck armor, even. It's just the middle bit. was the almost empty one. And that, that one doesn't even have a huge chunk out of it. Oh, God! Oh! Back here. Odd. It's in more than one segment. It is a very big pain in the ass doing this from uh, point-blank range. Wait, what is that? Ah, right, Turbo Laser Destructor Pack and the Turbo Laser Destructor Armor. Stupid dirt, you dare defy the Imperium of Man?
damn straight. Okay. I guess it's in different sections. I suppose I was thinking left and right. But uh Oh, huh, that's funny. It still has the attack wing mounts lit up. Because there's two of those. I only got one of them. Fifty-six percent. Might as well keep going. You know, with this top bit, I mean, as opposed to with the entire project. Of course, I'm not going to leave it at 56%. Uh, 57, even. Nice. So many different pieces here. Excellent! The filtration system is fixed. That means that guy inside doesn't need to keep relying on his suit for air. What is this? Armor cap. I'd say it's a hatch, it's just a big dome. Really satisfying. It's going in a big circle like that. exists. Or if it's all just like hymns to how great the Emperor is. Oh, that wasn't dirt. I'll get this section here, and then next time we can start working on the left side. Yay. <laughs> Actually, I should probably check over there to make sure I got all the pylons and stuff under the wing. But I'm standing right here, so... First I'll do the other thing I thought of. were appearing when I did that. It's a mug from the 90s. Or 
or the opposite of the one ring. Or the words secretly appear if you put it in fire. I did miss this missile pylon. Oh, that was easy. I uh, didn't get that one. I did get that one, rather. Heavy bolter mount is clean. Ooh, look at that. So little yellow from this specific angle. What's this? Really? Oh dear. I didn't get the middle. Well, I can't send it off like this. Say clist and peened? That's just rude. Or it sounds rude, even though it doesn't actually mean anything. I was fascinated with the phenomenon of words that sound very rude, but aren't. see. No, get out of the way. Oop, there's the timer. Let's just see if I can finish this off. Uh, no, that's underside armor. Oh, this is all, you know what? Okay, thank you. That does make it clearer where it ends. See, I thought it was just this bit here. Yeah. Okay. Wow. Just move this out of the way, because it'll move itself back, don't worry. Yeah. Looks kind of great from this angle. Oh yes, I think the Blood Angels will be very pleased with this and I'm finished. 58%, can't complain. I'm Burning Dog Face, and I will see you next time on Let's Clean Power Wash Simulator.
when we get to work on the left side of this infernal machine. Wish me luck, because I might need it. Have yourselves a great day, Burning Dog fans. Later.